Hello, what we have here is an ECM motor controller. Um, this is an ECM motor, something like this, or you know, one of those motors over there. There are three phase brushless DC motors, and this is one of the controllers. Um, this is a controller as well. Uh, what I've done is I've taken one of the controllers from these, and if you figure out the right inputs, a lot of them are different. If you figure out the inputs um, and you get the right input to it, which is usually 24 volts, and you got to have a high voltage to it as well, then you can get it to turn the motor. And then it will actually run any three phase brushless DC motor. So this is a big washer motor um, from a Samsung washing machine. And this motor is not actually powered up right now I'm just using it as a generator just to test the output of it and this is my little generator output tester a little motor tester but uh, I'm using this little controller and with the current setting it's on now that's the most RPMs I can get but I just thought it was interesting how well it it would actually run a much different three-phase brushless DC motor which you know it's kind of obvious it would have I just wanted to see how fast it would run it in comparison to how how fast it ran the original motor, which was a little bit different. It was a lot faster, but this is a much bigger motor. But it just goes to show you can use those controllers for anything. Uh, for instance, uh, this scooter here, the Segway. I was, I was just going to use. Uh, a battery and an inverter an inverter such as this one and a 12 volt battery this is a thousand one inverter and uh, you can use this inverter that controller and a, a 12 volt battery and put it on something uh, like a scooter and this has a brushless DC motor in the back the tire like a it's similar to a hoverboard motor like this um, and you can use that controller with the inverter because they're pretty those controllers are pretty efficient so uh, just a thought for somebody that might want to repurpose one of these controllers if you can get one to work um, I get them all at the scrapyard really cheap but um, the problem is a lot of the controllers themselves don't work. I get lucky every once in a while, and, and they will. Um, I'm not. It's something in the bottom of the circuit board, and these things go bad, which is aggravating. Which that's why they scrap them. But the the motors are always still good. They make good generators, excellent generators actually. Um, they output a good little bit of power, and I like playing with them. But anyways. I just thought I'd, you know, show the possibility of repurposing one of those controllers. Um, if you had, you know, obviously you have to have an inverter and I need a 10 volt, I need a 10 or 230 volt inverter, which most of them will run on 120 as well as 230. And you can do something cool with it if that gives you any ideas. I know these, you know, brushless DC controllers can get pretty expensive. And this is like, uh, for you RC guys, this is like a RC controller on steroids. So uh, you could do some cool stuff with it. If you were to uh, get you an inverter and incorporate it right. I'm about to have a pop if I don't unplug this. I better get this unplugged. Anyway. Yep, so that's it. I just wanted to show uh, that these controllers will work with any brushless DC motor. And maybe somebody get a cool idea if they can come across one, they will repurpose it and uh, build something cool. If you will, tag me in it. Thanks for watching.